When I think about Women's History Month, I think about a time where I should go back and talk to my family about their stories. My grandma was born in Louisiana, but she raised her family in Hitchcock, Texas. Hitchcock is like an hour outside of Houston, near Galveston. If I had to give somebody directions from Houston, you would take 45 South to the Beltway, then Highway 6, and at that point you need to call my grandma and get like turn-by-turn -turn directions. Cause So the story of my grandmother is the story of a teenage mom who overcame tremendous barriers. She um, went to an all-colored high school in Hitchcock and she got pregnant her senior year. Back then, when you were pregnant, the school administrators wouldn't let you stay in school with the other girls. It was almost like pregnancy was contagious or, you know, if you weren't married, it would send a signal to the other women that like, you know, something bad had happened. On top of being young and married with a child, finishing high school, my, my grandmother was also growing up during the Jim Crow era. And if I had to describe Jim Crow in my own words, it's basically the legalization of segregation. It made keeping black people and white people separate, completely legal. Um, she's never really shared a specific story, I think because it's still too hard to talk about. Um, but I do know that, you know, when you consider things in the context of like, even when my mother was born, so my mom was my grandmother's fourth baby. She was born in 1954, which was the same year that the Jim Crow law started to unravel. So in 1954, Brown versus the Board of Education was passed, which allowed black children and white children to go to school together. So my mom was actually the first in the family to be allowed to go to school with white children. I love that quote by Kamala Harris, where she says, I may be the first, but I'm definitely not the last. And I hope that's the energy that all firsts carry into Women's History Month and beyond. If I were born in a different era, I wouldn't be able to pursue financial independence. Women couldn't work, couldn't open a bank account, couldn't open a credit card, couldn't buy a house. Uh, they certainly couldn't invest in stocks and real estate the way that I do now. And, you know, that's, that's hard to think about. That's hard to uh, reckon with and reconcile when I think about the lives of my grandma and mom and the women who came before me. It's like, I feel compelled to take advantage of the opportunities that I have that they didn't. If the key to liberation is our ability to see that we have a choice, I just wonder how different their lives would have been if they were able to make the same choices that I'm able to.